Yo, what up? It's realistic, and I finally got Giant Man. What? Every day she says, every day she says, every day she says, I'm killing them, killing them, killing them, killing them. Every day she says, every day she says, every day she says, I'm killing them, killing them, killing them, killing them. Every day she says, every day. So here he is. Giant man, what? I was so excited to get this guy. He is so dope. He was definitely one of the most sought after figures um, in the Bath series. I really, really wanted him so bad. And he's just so cool. I just love everything about him. I just love his hands. His hands just absolutely just make him so much doper. You can hear that little squeak. <laughs> I love holding his hand too. Oh, giant man, I love you. And you can see, by the way, I did my nails. I thought they looked pretty good. First of all, he is definitely one of the coolest, if not the coolest, ever bat figure. He's really, really dope. And uh, it's funny <laughs> that this is, um, I guess this is going to continue bath week because I noticed that the last like few reviews I did, I was doing all build of figures. So one of the coolest things about him is just he has so much detail in his face. He just looks so real. And if you look at his face right here, you can just see how awesome he looks. Just the eyes and nose and mouth, everything. Really love the white in here. And hopefully when you pick yours up, you can get one that's just chip free like this one. There's no chips on it in the paint at all. There's no chips on his face. Really, really nice. I'm really glad that I got one in good condition. And I want to give a big, huge shout out to my boy Hen Solo because we did a really epic trade to get this. So, really, really cool. And you can see his head obviously goes all the way around. You can do a lot of different poses with him. It goes up and down. Really, really dope. He really has that human look to him. You can see you get him a lot of cool poses. You can see the back of his head here. Very nice shape to his head. And he's just so articulate, it's ridiculous. And yeah, that rhymes. Because I'm a rapper, that stuff happens when I'm just talking. But yeah, he has a lot of articulation, right? You can see right in here, and his arms are very articulate. You can see, obviously, his elbows right in here. And this piece right here. And his hands are so dope looking. They really can grip well, and you can see that each finger is articulate. You do all kinds of stuff with these hands. The thumb, you know, doesn't move, but still, it's in that grasping position, so, you know, you don't really need it to move too much. Just looks so dope. Just like, I just absolutely love It's probably one of my favorite hands I've ever had on any figure. It's so awesome. And you can see right here, moves, and has that clicking sound that I love. Right here, you can see these huge joints right here, obviously. And this has a real nice, I love how this just flows like this. Mine's just like super easy to do. Love that. And the boots, oh man, so sick. <laughs> love, I love shoes, I love boots. And just, you know, the fact that they're just so big, it's just so dope. I love it. It's almost as big as my foot, for real. I have a really small foot. And I just love the toe articulation. And to have it in this big, huge scale is just like so sick. And obviously right in here you can see that too. It's hard to do with one hand. And you can see it's just so dope. Just like the size of him and it's like having a smaller figure but in bigger scale with all the details and oh it's just so awesome. You can see his butt right there. It's all the blue and all like the different black shaded through it. Really nice. And he's very, very red. I mean, he looks a lot like a pepper. I don't know why. Like, when I have these elbows laying around my house, it just looks like little chili peppers or something. And everybody has, like, ten of these elbows. I have a few of them. Um, they're, like, probably the easiest piece to find. The head, you know, the upper torso and the head is obviously uh, the hardest part to find. And there's ten parts that make him up. He's just so difficult to complete, and also on top of that, that he was a Walmart exclusive, so he's really difficult to complete, so I'm really, really, really happy that I was able to get him. And really cool right here, the white belt going all the way around. See all the detail in his back. Stripes right here. Really cool. My favorite thing by far is his head. It just, his face just looks so, so awesome. 
I love that the details in here. And even like the little wrinkles in the right here. It looks really, really sick. And his eyes are just phenomenal. I just love it. You can see all the muscle detail up in here. He's so dope. I mean, you can get him complete. Um, I've seen him go on eBay, maybe like 70, 80 bucks. Actually, I just did a video a couple days ago of this toy store in California, and they actually had him for, I think, $70, which isn't bad at all. Especially because you don't have to pay shipping or anything like that. You know, it's just 70 flat, and that was pretty good. So definitely, if you see him around, I would recommend him. And right here is the hardest piece to find, the head right in there. This is the Kitty Pride figure, which is really sought after, and I'm really, really excited that I have one of these sealed. I might do a review where I just rip into it and just get everyone angry now. <laughs> I don't think I would do that. If I did open it, I would do it off camera and I'd do it really carefully. But as you can see, it's really cool that it has all the pictures right here of everybody that you need to get to complete this guy. He's, by the way, he's 13.5 inches, just in case you were wondering. And he's 34.25 centimeters. And you can see there's a lot of figures in this series. So here's the pictures. You can see all the different pieces you need to get him. You just need that torso. You need the two hands, the two elbows or arms, whatever you want to call them. So that's five pieces. Then you need the lower torso. So that's six. And then the two legs, uh, seven, eight. And then the two feet, nine, ten. And here's some size comparisons. Here he is next to Marvel Select Deadpool. And here he is next to Vulture. And you can see, obviously, he towers over them. So I have a question for you guys. If I was to open this and to swap the head with this one, because there is a slight imperfection right here on his jaw. You probably can't even catch that, but right here, it's a slight imperfection. And I was thinking of maybe swapping the head out, but the only thing is I'm really afraid that if I took this apart, he'd become loose or, you know, something would just be messed up on it afterwards. So let me know in the comments if you guys have ever done this with a giant man figure, because I'm a little reluctant to do it myself. So thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I um, really hope that you guys can also get a Giant Man if you don't have one already. I would recommend him so much over a lot of other figures that I've done reviews on. Um, a lot of the build figures are really dope. Uh, the Sentinel is one that I love. The Giant Man is another one that I absolutely love. So definitely go and try to pick him up, and probably even be a better idea if you picked him up complete. Because he's going to be real hard to put together. So thank you guys for watching so much, and i got some more reviews coming up soon. Peace. Yo, so who's going to WonderCon this year? Let me know in the comments below.